you think that having a baby means you have to ditch your dog, think again. But the canine coach says you need to prepare your pooch for a new arrival. Floyd Swyden joins us now with Alex, Kyle, and their dog Rex. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so a lot of people call you and they say, you know, we're expecting a baby. Do, can you please find a home for my dog? They do. They don't understand that you can have the dogs and the child in the same house. So it's not. It's not as dangerous as it might sound? No, not at all. You don't even have to exile them to the backyard either. You can keep them in the house with you. Okay, but you want to change the bad behavior that's going on right now. So I hear that Rex has some issues you want to resolve? Uh, yeah, he comes home. Uh, we'll come home and he'll jump on Alex or me and then he'll run around the house, get real excited. And we don't want that to happen, you know, hit, hit the baby or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, so it's the jumping. Right. The running around. Okay, so so what what should they do? Well, prior to having your baby, prior to even even thinking about having a child, prepare your dog. If you're getting your dog two or three years before you even think about having a child, set your boundaries now. They're not allowed to jump on the bed. They're not allowed to jump on us. Then, when you start knowing that you're going to have your baby, as soon as you find out, you can set your house rules in, and it changes a little bit then. When you find out that the baby's coming, there's some things to think about then because you don't want any jumping. So they're going to teach them not to jump on them. And you say the dogs actually know that a baby is on the way? They do. They feel it. They know something's strange, something's different, but they do. They, they know something's happening. Okay, and you don't want the dog to feel neglected afterwards either. Right. Jealousy will kick in. If you pay so much attention to your baby and you forget about your dog, all of a sudden they, they get so much jealousy going on. And jealousy also leads to curiosity. You know, some of the things that you want to prepare your dog for is one of the most important things I tell my customers is to get a baby doll. Uh, a realistic looking human doll and put some baby clothes on it and start changing those diapers and that way the dog says well what are you doing over there with that they won't come over and put their foot on it also if you're going to get your presents ahead of time you know people start sending you your gifts assemble your high chair put your little baby doll on there put some cheerios and stuff on here and teach your dog not to jump on there and steal from your baby that's true so you can say down or go to your spot. That's exactly right. If you can do a little basic obedience work, teach your dog go to your spot, lay down while I change the child, and then when we get done with that, you can release them from that spot. Okay, and you said that you can also take somebody's baby clothes and bring them over? I do that so that way they get used to the smell. The, the, the curiosity, you know, the dogs have such a great sense of smell, they're going to say, what's that strange new smell in the house? Show them it's nothing, you know, nothing big. Okay, now you say you don't want to say no so much to your dog that the dog thinks that its name is no? Right. The mistake happens, you get a new baby in the house, well, now everything the dog does, no, 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 no. If you have to say no, just say no, and then show them the behavior that you wanted. Show them don't jump there, take them to their spot, lay them down, give them a treat. So, replace any unwanted behavior with the behavior that you would like it to be. That way they don't feel left out. Have you been doing anything recently to try to change the dog's behavior? Um, just correcting him when he jumps. We don't want him to jump, so we correct him. And we've just been teaching him to heal and sit. We didn't, that's about it. And you said that you should maybe start not sleeping with your dog? Right. If you, if you know you're going to have a child coming up soon, don't teach them not to be in the bed with you. They can be beside the bed, but you don't want them to crawl all over you and the baby. Yeah. Well, the baby shouldn't be in your bed either. So that's true. Is that's that exactly right. Don't do that. Right. But if you're like people lamb down there, change their change the diapers or something. We don't want the, the so dog. So some area should be off limits, like maybe the baby's dressing area. That's exactly what you can do. You can start way ahead of time with boundaries. If you're going to turn this old computer room into the baby's room, then start making that a no-no room. Okay. Real quickly, is there any kind of breed of dog that you should not have with the baby? I haven't seen anything yet. You know, they, they say that small dogs are, are, are jumpers and large dogs are quieter. It's all the same. You know, that I haven't seen. So you don't think any dog. Off nope, I think you're okay with that. Okay, well, thank you very much for joining us this thank morning. You. Thank you. And if you're having an issue with your pooch, you can email us and we'll give that email to the canine coach and he'll come in here and try to answer your questions. <laughs> thank you so right. much thank for you. joining thank you. us.